What's going on, guys? It's Nate, aka Snatch Packs, back here with another little football opening. Uh, today we got another uh, blaster box of Illusions 21 football. I also decided to pick up a Donruss Elite uh, Fat Pack and an Absolute Football Fat Pack, both 2021. I've opened these in the past. They're probably two of the better uh, Fat Packs you can get at your local Walmart. Um, this Donruss Elite, I plan on getting a hobby box, I'd say, here in the next week or so. Test my luck. It's probably one of my favorite products. Uh, it's a nice foil card. Um, we'll start with the Absolute. We'll move into the Donruss Elite. Then we'll end off with the Illusions, hoping to get maybe an auto or a Hollow Heroes. So, start with the... Absolute kid reporter on the back. If any of you guys want to use that, all right. Aziz Uljari, Pat Fryermouth, rookie, Gary Brightwell, rookie, Amon Ra St. Brown, rookie. Michael Stratton, rookie. Elijah Molden, rookie. Kyle Pitts, rookie. Nick Bolton, rookie. Terrence Marshall, rookie. Uh, Chuba Hubbard, green foil parallel, rookie. A Najee Harris green foil rookie. That's two good running backs for the future. We got a Hunter Long rookie. A Justin Fields by Storm rookie. I'll go right to the PC as I'm a Bears fan. Uh, hopefully the future's bright with this young quarterback. We got a Tyree Kill Red Zone. It's a nice looking card there. Tua Tyvola base. A Josh Allen base. A Mike Evans base. DeAndre Hopkins base. Joey Bosa base. And a Marquise Brown base. So not a bad pack. Those green foil ones are pretty nice hits, especially for a uh, fat pack. Also, that uh, anytime you get a insert of a rookie quarterback, that's always nice to hit that Justin Fields. So I can't be too upset with that. Eleven dollars. Can't go wrong. Probably shouldn't be trying to cut through this on a table grandfather actually built this so I think I would be shocked if I were ever to read this table so should use my head next time so we're into the Donruss Elite here uh, start at the front here let's look at those cards it's such a nice looking card I don't know it's just the foil and like the like the primary color that they use of the team it's really nice so justin jefferson base taylor heineke base brandon cooks base nick bosa base patty mahomes base and before i move in oh joe montana nice before i move into any farther into these these are a little bit tricky sometimes you get like a little it'll be like a pink or blue that kind of goes with uh the team and it's a parallel i noticed that i had a kyler murray one that was sitting in a pile of base so sometimes you have to double check to see what it actually is but typically it's towards the middle of the pack but back to this card joe montana always nice hitting a legend uh we got Aaron Jones, base, 
Quinine Williams base, Miles Garrett base, Justin Herbert second year base. Always nice hitting, hitting those just to have. Joe Namath base, another legend. Oh, dropped that one. That's not good. David Montgomery base. We got Keenan Allen base. This is what I was talking about here. So that's one of the pink ones. Stephen Gilmore. So you see I have the pink here. Uh, the reason I found it tricky to see is because the Kyler Murray has a red here. So the pink kind of blended in and I kind of missed it. Oh, wow. Tylen Wallets. Rookie. Pink parallel. And oh, nice. A Tom Brady star status. The ghost. That's a nice looking card. I know in the hobbies you can hit numbered one of these, but any Tom Brady insert's always a nice hit. Then we got a Henry Ruggs base, a Terry Bradshaw base, a Mark Brunel base, Big Ben base, a Daniel Jones base. Another DeAndre Hopkins base. Matthew Stafford going to the Super Bowl this weekend. Base care to him. Ezekiel Elliott base. Another Super Bowl player this weekend, Aaron Donald. We got Lamar Jackson. We got Devin White base. John Elway base. Stephen Gilmore, so I'll go back and grab that so we can just you can kind of see the difference between those two cards just with the little pink foil background. Nice card. And Juju Smith Schuster base. So overall not a bad box at all. Got a uh, that Tom Brady card. We'll take another look at that. That's a nice looking card. So now we'll move into the illusions. And this is probably another one of my favorites, as I said before. Um, just a nice looking product. Nice hits. I like that. I know some people are upset that the hollow rares or hollow heroes can be hit in the retail boxes but that just gives you more of an incentive to buy and with the price that football hobbies are at it kind of gives everyone a chance of hitting a pretty rare card and something that you can be happy about so we'll move into this so once again this is six packs six cards per pack looking for any uh Ultra Rare Hollow Heroes or the Autograph and Memorabilia cards. So there's four Blaster Exclusive Parallels on average as well. So we'll jump into pack one here. We'll see what we get. So we got a J.K. Dobbins base card. We got a Jacob Harris rookie base. And then we got another green foil Najee Harris rookie card. That's a nice card there. Sam Darnold base. Anthony Schwartz base rookie. And a Zeke base. So you guys be watching the Super Bowl this weekend. What do you guys think of the halftime show? Leave a comment below. Some big name rappers in that Super Bowl show this weekend. I'm sure a lot of people will be tuning in to watch that. Should be entertaining for sure. Commercials are always fun to watch. So should be a good weekend. I don't know if you guys watch UFC. There's a big pay-per-view on Saturday 
and Asanya Whitaker too. I know me and my buddies, we don't miss too many UFC, so it's a great weekend for sports. So we'll get together, have a few laughs, watch some history be made, and you know what? You can't complain too much. What is this? So we got back here. Patrick Mahomes, base. And to go with my blue, we got a Joe Montana, king of cards, green. Cannot complain. Joe Montana, that's a beauty. But remember, as I said before, I don't know if this will focus. But you can kind of see along here that there's a little bit of chipping. That's the only issue with this product is they almost should have, like, a nut, like, make this a little thicker and put plastic on the back just to kind of protect all this. Like, that white is just exposed. I bet you if I drug my nail into that, I could chip some of that off for sure. Got a Miles Sanders green parallel. Elijah Moore rookie base. Sean Taylor base. And a Nico Collins rookie base. So we'll get into pack number three here. We're halfway through. You know what? I'm pretty happy with this pack opening so far. I love collecting football. Beautiful products. We got Jonathan Taylor base. And then we got a Mystique Travis Ateen Jr. Missed this year, I think, with an ACL injury. Highly touted running back then we got a Cadadrius Tony green parallel uh, rookie then we got a DK Metcalf base a Tutu Atwell rookie base and an Alvin Kamara base so we're into the back nine of these packs as the golfers like to say that's where you got to play your best golf, so hopefully you get our best hits on these last three packs. Uh, Jalen Darden. Nice. A Pat Fryermuth. Blue. Stardust. Rookie card. Had a pretty good year with the Steelers this year. Kind of cooled down come the end of the year, but... Should be a pretty reliable tight end for fantasy owners for the next couple of years. We got a Josh Jacobs screen parallel. Another DK Metcalf. Another 2-2 Atwell. What are the chances that this next guy is Alvin Kamara? And it is. The last three players were the exact same as the pack before that. That is funny. So we'll go with pack number five here. Second last pack of this break. We got a Saquon Barkley base. A blue Terrence Marshall Stardust rookie card. That's a nice one. And then another parallel of a rookie. We got the green Kyle Trask rookie card. Taking over Tom Brady's shoes. Unless they sign somebody, but it's looking like it'll be his ship to run next year in Tampa. Mr. Super Bowl, Matthew Stafford. Will he get it done this Saturday? Let me know in the comments below. We got a uh, Javante Williams rookie base and a Matt Ryan base. Will we get some last pack magic here? Doesn't feel like a fat one, so... We'll see what we can pull here. Looks like a clear. So we got a Cam Newton base. Derrick Henry base. We'll go from the back. A Devontae Smith rookie base. We got a Jared Goff base. Oh, there's still a card behind there. A Kadarius Tony base. And... Nice. We'll take that all day. A Mystique Matt Jones rookie card. And this one's actually in good shape. Not too much chipping on that. 
So that was a pretty successful break. Uh, go through, kind of pick out what the best cards that I thought were. And if you guys are ever looking for cards as well, just leave a comment down below. I know I had a guy leave a comment on the other break there and seeing if I had any Josh Allen cards, which I don't unfortunately yet, but I'll definitely keep him in mind if I do end up hitting any nice Josh Allen. Um, so just to recap, we'll go through these here. Oh, I think I missed one. Da, 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 da. So kind of the big hits of this break tonight. We had the uh, Terrence Marshall Jr. Blue Stardust, Pat Farmer's uh, Blue Stardust Parallel, Chuba Hubbard Green Parallel Rookie, Najee Harris Green Parallel Rookie, Justin Fields by Storm Rookie Card, uh, Tom Brady Star Status, that's a very nice looking card there. Another Najee Harris in the illusions of the green parallel another rookie card of his joe montana uh green king of cards uh, mystique travis and nine jr and the mac jones mystique so that's it for this break i should probably in the next week or so have a hobby of elite donner's elite coming and after that, I'm hoping, hoping that Series 1 of 21-22 hockey will be out. Um, it has been delayed quite a bit, so it says March 2nd as of right now, so we can only cross our fingers and hope. But for then and for now, Snatch Pack out. Take care.